Hey guys, we're here and last week was Apple WWDC 2020 keynote. Well, the major th part of it was the first day, which was Monday the 22nd, I think. And there was updates, big updates. There was iOS 14, iPad OS 14, Mac OS Big Sur, tvOS, I don't know what tvOS is on now, but tvOS, anything else? And the AirPods Pro and AirPods second gen update from 2d15 to 2d27 which is the new one in that update which was a refresh I'm, I'm just gonna read like what the new update here is about so the new update 2d27 will will fix airpods pro users the issues with active noise cancellation and the cracking crackling and popping sounds i personally don't haven't had the crackling or popping sounds in the 2d15 update so I don't know what they're talking about, but the only issue which I had with 2D15, which has been fixed with 2D27 on my AirPods Pro, is the connection to my Apple Watch. Other than that, everything else is good. Now, people complained about the active noise cancellation on the 2D15 update. They were saying that it's not, it's not good, it doesn't cover a lot of sound. I personally think that the new firmware update, 2D27, actually doesn't solve the active noise cancellation. It doesn't even improve the active noise cancellation on the AirPods Pro. In fact, I think it's actually made it worse. So Apple, I personally do not recommend you guys, whether you've got the AirPods Pros or the AirPods second gen to update to the new firmware. I don't know, like apparently if updates itself, it just updates. That's what happened to mine. I, it was on 2D15, I think it was Wednesday night. I charged it next to my iPhone and the next morning, like active noise cancellation just sounded bad. There was, there was, it, it did pretty much didn't even exist. So I don't know if you guys agree with this. So 2D15 with active noise cancellation, you couldn't hear yourself typing. And I've got the MacBook with the butterfly keys. And we all know the butterfly keys is loud. It's a very, very loud keyboard like even the tiniest click it just makes a noise it just clicks and we all don't like that you know you could be sitting next to, especially in class sitting next to a person with that butterfly keys and he's just typing away like touch typing well touch typing he's just touch typing it annoys and i've got the butterfly keys so every time i type at home when i'm doing my assignments or work typing yeah it buggers me too and when I put on the AirPods Pros with the 2D15 update, which was the previous update, I couldn't hear myself typing. So I could type as loud as I want without actually annoying myself. And now with the 2D27, I can actually hear myself typing. I don't know what happened there. Apple, you've just ruined the active noise cancellation on the AirPods Pros. Maybe it's just, maybe this active noise cancellation has something to do with the spatial audio or 3D audio on the AirPods Pro. I don't I don't even hear it. I don't even feel that 3D spatial or 3D or spatial audio coming from the AirPods Pro. It just sounds the same. I don't know if it's me, but to me it just sounds the same. Maybe I'm just like maybe it's fixing that connection issues, but it's fixed my connection issue with my Apple Watch. Other than that, that's all. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna, okay, so this is macrumors.com. I'm just, I'm just gonna read everything after correctly. Hang on. That poppling. What do you mean by the poppling and crackling? It does happen sometimes, but every, like, I've, I have, I've had sounds coming from the AirPods Pro. It's like when I put both together, I can hear it. It's at the back of the music. You can just hear it. I don't know if it, I don't know if you can describe it as a poppling or crackling. But when I put it back in, shut it for like, two to three minutes, pull it back out, it just fixes. I don't know if that's, that's the sound that they're talking about. Doesn't sound like popping and crackling to me. But but it stays there, that sound just stays there and it's, it's really annoying. So in my opinion, I do not recommend updating to the 2D27 firmware update for AirPods Pros or AirPods second gen. I don't have the second gen, well, anymore, but I don't, I did have it, but I don't have it now, so I can't really say whether it does well with the second gen AirPods. But with this, with these, the AirPods Pros, forget about it. 
well i've probably this is this is probably just me reading some not understanding some stupid stuff anyway there's an update for beats phone headphones headphones yeah beats headphones i don't i don't have beats but um, I've, I've only got sony's i personally don't like beats beats are too heavy bass heavy for me i don't like that yeah um but i'm still really bound to try the airpods pros on the plane right now just listening from airpods pros and keyboard i don't, I don't even think these can even be on the plane that's that's my opinion i don't even think these these can't even be on a plane they're just gonna let all the sound come through i'm just gonna try it since i haven't been on a car in a car in like a long trip in the car so i really can't say anything about these yet but at least they've brought back that single earbud noise cancelling thank you apple for bringing that back because it's nice you just want to Cancel one, I don't know, I don't know really who, who on earth will do that, but I do that. Noise cancelling in one year, it's great. You know, you just don't want to hear someone on your left. Always works. Yeah, look, look, look at these guys. AirPods Pros, active noise cancellation, is slash isn't fixed. This 27 makes AirPods Pro NC as good as it was originally, it depends on who's talking. I don't like it. I, I, I just don't like it. it. It's made it worse. I, I, well, apparently, look at this. Both have agreeing that ANC is better, arguing that it's worse, or saying there's no change. I say there is a big change. The ANC is worse, way worse than, like, if you agree with me, so if you got a, a Mac, any Mac from the 26, 2015 MacBook 12 inch to last year's, MacBook Pros and the year before's MacBook Airs, I think. I don't, I, I've already lost all these stupid things. Anyway, if you've got a Mac with butterfly keys or if you've got the iPad Pros for the case, try it. Put your, if, and you've got AirPods Pros, put your AirPods Pros in and tie it. Make sure your ANC is on, obviously. I should, I should have done this myself. I should have actually tested it like on, on video with the 2D15 update and updating it to 2D27 and seeing which one's better. I should have done that. Like if you, I recommend trying it with the 2D15 on and typing, I don't know, if you've got the iPad Pro and the MacBook Pro or MacBook Air or MacBook, try that butterfly key and updating it to the 2D27 update and see which one do you like. I say, I'm not sure I understand. Siri, hate Siri so much. Did I? I'm not sure I understand. Did I even say, hey Siri? Okay, now you're not turning on. Wow. Comment down below if you, like, someone said something related to Siri, it turns on. And anyway. come on, now the iPad's going crazy. Oh my God, man, Siri. Okay, if if you think the 2D27 update made iPad, um, iPad Pro, the AirPods Pro is worse, comment down below. And if you think it's better, comment down below. If, you don't, if there's no change, comment down below. And remember, yeah, series bad too. Other than that, peace out. Hope you guys are staying safe. I mean, you you you've guys seen the meme, right? That that coronavirus has 10 mil subs or something like that. Given, yeah. I'm gonna get there one day. I will get there. On that, peace out, guys. Hope you guys are staying safe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.